Again, my name is Miss Donna, and I'm happy to be with you today. Who can recall? This instrument is a flute. Yes, of course. And in what family do you find it? The woodwinds. Good. Did anyone notice that an I did not tell you what the other woodwind instruments were? Did anybody look it up? Ah, always be curious. Always want to know more. The other woodwinds, there's one, put your fingers together like this, two pieces of wood, it's called a reed, a double reed, that's an oboe. Can you say that? Oboe, one finger. A single little piece of wood to help make the sound is called a single reed. It is on the clarinet. What instrument? Clarinet. Two fingers together, it's a double reed. The other woodwind instrument, the bassoon, has a double reed. Good. What other instrument families are there? The brass, we said trumpets, trombones, French horns, tuba. Did anyone look up the string instruments? Be curious, violins, slightly larger, viola. Even bigger than that, the cello. And even bigger than that, the double bass. Good. And we need all of these instruments in the orchestra. The person who directs the orchestra is called the conductor. They act as a leader. But in truth, every single member of the orchestra is a leader. If anyone falls down on the job, the whole is less. If anyone is missing, the whole is less. How much of our earth, our blue earth, is water? 71%. How much is in the oceans? 95% of the water is in the oceans. And one teeny tiny percent is coral reef. Who can tell me, what is coral? Is it a rock, plant, an animal? Yes, of course, it's an animal. Why? Because it can move and because it must find food. We talked about three different kinds when I saw you last. Hands on your head, hands up like this. That is staghorn, elk horn, and brain coral. Let's look at some. This is example of staghorn. You see? Look at this one. Now let's look at another. Something is wrong with this. Who can tell me? This is all white. That is called bleached. Did someone pour Clorox in the ocean? Not exactly, but bleached means that the coral is very, very sick. And if it's like this very long, it will die. Let's do this. Put one hand on your head like this. Put the other like this. In nature, I suppose in human beings too, there are relationships one is called symbiotic. That means two together. When each one helps each other equally, it is called mutualistic. What's it called? Mutualistic. The coral has a mutualistic friend called zooxanthellae. Can you say that big word? Zooxanthellae. Yes, the zooxanthellae gives coral its color. It also helps it make its food called metabolism. It helps. Now, if the coral is under stress, it gets too, too hot or too, too cold, or there's too much acid or pollution, zooxanthellae goes away. And then the coral loses its color. And when it loses its color, it loses its help to eat, but also it loses its ability to fight 
disease becomes white, we call it bleached, and very sick. Now, if the temperature in the water and the pollution is better, less pollution, the water is not too hot or not too cold, zooxanthellae comes back and the coral can live. Let's look at some more coral. Who can tell me quickly, what kind of coral is this? Ah, good, elk horn. What is wrong with this coral? It's bleached. That means that our friend Zuzanthelli has gone away. If Zuzanthelli does not come back, this coral will die. How do we know all of this? Because we study. And when we study, we can be of help to the coral. You, you could choose to be a member of a STEAM team. Has anyone heard of a STEAM team before? S stands for science. S stands for science. T stands for technology. T stands for technology. E stands for engineering, A for the arts, and M, mathematics. Let's look. Who could be a field scientist? That means you go out with scuba and snorkeling gear. You go out into the water and you look, you observe, and you think. And when you find something maybe dead or interesting, you bring it back to the lab scientist. Oh, a lab scientist. This is a microscope. A lab scientist gets to put on a white coat. Can be very, very official. And look under a microscope to help find out what is killing the coral or what is killing the fish. This is a lab scientist. Oh, how about a technologist? Oh, do you know some smart technologists, maybe just like you, developed an instrument that you can hold in the air and measure pollution? Or you can measure how sick the water is, how much pollution might be in the water. That's what a technologist could do. Oh, what about an engineer? They can wear a white coat too. They develop all kinds of instruments using their engineering skills, and they could create robots to go deep into the ocean to find what the scuba scientists may not be able to find. What about the artists? They're important too, because how would we ever see without our cameras? How would we ever see without someone making those videos to help us? The arts are very important. They can also let the world know what is happening. Very important. And not one of them can do much without mathematics. That could be you. Let's look at a video that can show you how exciting those careers, choosing this to learn could be fun for you.
That was very exciting, wasn't it? Did you see the field scientists? <gasps> yes, and they were being propelled by something. <gasps> the technologists and the engineers were working together. And they were drilling into some dead coral and taking out a piece of it to take back to whom? The lab scientists. So they, with their microscopes, can take a good look at what killed that part of the coral. And did you see some people, all kinds of people working together? How exciting is this? Those were astronauts, but they were learning from the marine scientists about how to do things in an environment in which humans are not perfectly suited. Outer space, we have to have oxygen and underwater. That's the beauty. Scientists sharing all of their expertise. Who made the videos? The artists. And no one could do anything without those mathematicians. Scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, and mathematicians working together to make our world a better place. What would you like to do? Think about all, all the things you want to learn and how you can make your life exciting, how you can help to save the coral reefs. Here's what we know. Coral loves a temperature between 73 and 84. How many of you like that? Yes. If it gets too hot, the coral gets sick. If it gets too cold, the coral get sick. Can the coral stand a lot of pollution? No. It makes the water darker and then the coral does not have enough light. What if we have all of our cars and buses and everything putting carbon dioxide into the air? Some of that goes into the water and it makes the water have a lot of acid. Put your hand up. Pretend that acid gets on it. It hurts it also hurts the coral. There's something called pH. Can we say that? pH. The P stands for power. The H stands for hydrogen. The P, the power of hydrogen that the coral need is eight. Let's say pH eight, pH eight. That way we can help to remember. These are all things that I love to learn even though, of course, what I've always done is play music. You can learn more than one thing. Now, let's do something I love because I love being a field scientist. That means going out into the water. Uh, there are five points I need to know. To go on a dive, I need what's called a buoyancy compensator. This is part of it. Maybe you can see. You put on your buoyancy compensator and there's a big tank of air on the back. Of course, I have my mask, but I want to be able to talk to you without it. There are five points we'll need to know. So, buoyancy compensator. And this is how we say, check. Then you must check your weights. So we say, wait, check. And then there are all kinds of releases on it. You say, releases, check. And then you better check your air. Make sure you have your air. Air, check. And then you always go diving with a buddy. So you check with your buddy. And when they're ready, everyone says, check. And then you're ready to dive in. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope that you've enjoyed what we've done. And to end, I'm going to show a video. Video. I want you to watch it with your heart. See what you can see. Here are some things to notice. There may be some fish, but is there a wide variety? Do you notice coral? We talked about the brain coral that looks a bit like that. What color is it? Are parts of it kind of golden and parts of it white? 
The white means bleaching. Yes. And you will see that the floor, there's not enough creatures. We should be able to see 40, 50, 60 different kinds of creatures everywhere. You may not see those. Watch with your eyes and with your heart. See what you notice. Goodbye.